Well, another great college hockey game. Uh, a little bit different than last night from our perspective. I thought they came out and continued what they did last night where I thought our intensity level fell a little bit, our physicality fell a little bit, and it took us a little while to pick up where we left off last night. And obviously penalties certainly didn't help us again. Um, they get the five on three goal, they go up two nothing, and then I thought we really started regrouping and doing the things that we're gonna need to do if we're gonna have success. You know, we missed some open nets, we hit some posts. Even though we're down two nothing going to the third, you know we kind of felt pretty good about the way that period ended and the way that period was overall. I mean they didn't they didn't attempt a lot of shots and have many shots in the net front in the second period. Um, and you know the way we came out in the third with a lot of energy, I thought we kept it simple. And obviously our power play was huge in the third period. So you know that team's uh, worthy of their ranking. I know we won't see a team that plays harder than that team. That's for sure. So, Coach, as you say, you come out great in the third period, three or four scoring chances, and then they get a breakaway, maybe game over, if yeah. they score that one. Yeah, you know, I did get involved, and, uh, you know, you press them a little bit too, you know, but we've got to, you know, the, the last guy in the zone has got to take better inventory of what's going on, and the defenseman should stay in the middle of the rink. And, we gave it up and we made a heck of a save to keep it a two nothing and give us a chance. And I, uh, you know, I thought their guy was great in that tonight. I mean, we had some golden chances, uh, and we just couldn't get one by him. And then when we got one by him, we started smelling blood a little bit. And I thought we were buzzing, and, and they obviously gave some pushback too in the third. But um, you know, I think we found out an awful lot about ourselves this weekend. How much does having Matt back on the power play help that unit out? Helps it a lot. You know, he did. Uh, he keeps things moving. He's active. Uh, I think he gets the penalty kill us thinking a little bit and guessing. You know, we were just having a lot of trouble coming into the zone. I didn't think we really executed our breakout well. We were coming up a little bit slow. And, you know, we're in the third period. We uh, won some loose puck battles and did a great job on faceoffs and moved it around and attacked from the side. I thought we were. A little bit too predictable early from up top, and then we started getting things down low and changing the look a little bit. And then when we did go up top, we had a little bit more room. And, you know, Lati gets a huge goal uh, from Grizzly, a great pass by Grizzly. And obviously, Lati can one time with the best of them and he got us going. What do you attribute the, the, as you say, kind of a slow start tonight after super energetic games that a little bit of a uh, the four o'clock start was it a you know a little letdown after a super intense game last night? Well, for people that were there last night, that game was that was war. Mm -hmm. That was I shouldn't say that term, but it was it was a battle. I mean, it was a man's game. There wasn't any room, and it was physically and mentally exhausting. You know, they're older than we are. They got eight seniors, mm -hmm. so I'm sure that probably allows them to kind of pick up where they left off. Where maybe our younger guys are a little more tired. But I loved how we pulled it together and uh, battled back. The larger picture, what you learned from the weekend, two games. You know, I I learned that we've we can compete with the best of them. You know, I mean that's a big, strong, well balanced team. Uh, we showed a lot of resiliency. We showed some mental toughness. We showed great team camaraderie. You know, there's a checklist of things you're going to need if you're going to win championships, starting with talent. And if you've got enough talent, then there's about seven or eight other things you're going to need if you're going to have success. And I think we keep checking the box as the season moves on, which is a good sign. We've got goaltending, which is always huge. Um, so, a lot to like about where we're at right now, but any, by certainly by no means are we satisfied, but we like the direction we're going. Any sort, of, any sort of idea for severity or timetable for Nick Olson? You know, we're hoping to have him next weekend, but day by day. Anything else? Thank you.